guys, welcome back to another episode of Oshikaya Speaks. I'm still your host, Ono Oshikaya. As usual, I guess it's right. Period. It's a, full, it's a full house today. There's so many faces behind the camera, so I'm shy. That's cap. But yeah. Today, I'm joined by one of my favorite people. He makes me laugh a lot. Shine, I've already casted this shit. But yeah, Shine is one of the funniest people that I know. He's literally always making me laugh and saying some silly things. I don't think we've ever had a chance to sit and you yeah, know, have this conversation. Actually. So we're going to take it back, 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 back to when, like, what growing up was like for you. What was growing up like for you and Shine? I was studying the main thing, the, the, uh, the dancing, the miming. Then mm-hmm. even because I'm a Catholic, yeah, I went to okay. we had like a Catholic youngsters group in, a, in the Catholic church yeah. that I went to. So I was like, as of then, I, I knew I was there with kids. I was mm-hmm. there, I, I was popular in that circle. <laughs> that they still know me. They in during uh, after the after show, then we have this auditorium where I entertain them mm-hmm. and other people in the Catholic youngsters yeah. organization. Yeah. So it was it was good. It was music, music, music. Definitely. It was if I don't do music, I'm not gonna do any then other thing. Like, so. I feel like everybody says that though, that like it's a situation of if you're not doing music, yeah, that's a, like you're not like people that actually want to make music. I mean, like if they they always say like the last conversation I had, I remember the person saying, I think it was with Achan, and he was saying that like if it, like music is you have to do see, it, it's your own. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. Yeah. You see this music thing. It's a full time job. Like yeah. it's something you start. And people need to understand yes, that. It's like, something it's you start doing from job. the beginning. Like even if you 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 decide from okay, maybe you are twenty now, but you want to do music, you still have to do it full time. It's not so, oh, let me go to school tomorrow. Next tomorrow I'll be in the studio. It will work out for some people, but like most cases, it will always like work out more for the person that gave it their night. Mm. Every day you are you are in it. You figure out something that somebody that is reading hasn't figured out. Yeah. It's not, but that's the that's the truth. Is, right? If if you give it three hundred days, there will be that day you figure out something that you did your voice a certain way in the studio that no one has. Yeah, there there will be something you figured out. That no, just it's a full time job. It's okay. like saying you don't want to do nine to five, but you are doing 25, 24 hours. Literally. Mm, fair. I hear that. Yeah, That's cause, yes, because I can leave this interview now. I'm going to the studio. Mm. So, no, no. There's no... Full time. Like, it's a lifestyle. Full time, to be honest. The lifestyle. I love that. I hear that. So, what's a regular day in your life like? Mm. Talk to me about that. How is... How was it like? Are you always recording? Are you always... I mean, you're here now, and like you said, you might be in the studio the next two hours, but like, what's a regular day in your life like? A regular day. If every, I'm not doing anything or the damn that's left to you. <laughs> it's left to you to okay, I'm always, a regular day. I'm always doing something. Like, yeah. I have I've been in situations where oh friends be like, oh, you don't have my time. Or you don't have our Thank time anymore. You don't the odds now. <laughs> the odds they go down. <laughs> Whenever the hurts, you go nowhere with the odds. <laughs> I love it. So like maybe wake up, go to the studio by ten AM to twelve PM. Then sometimes I'll be in the studio. From the next to the next one by 4 a.m. Mm. Then I come back by 4 a.m. That like, shuffling. That's what I'm telling. I was telling about doing it 24 hours. Mm. So I, I sometimes I'll go by 10 a.m. Come back by 4 a.m. The next day. So those times you've completed songs you've made before. You've started something new. Yeah. You just shuffle the idea. Shuffle the idea. Experiment something. Experimenting. Yes. Very important. Just so, find yourself. Yeah. Some some days you'll be you'll be in the studio. Maybe you're not feeling it anymore. Then you go back. Come back the next day. But it's, it's, a, it's a steady recording process because mm. if you do it that way, you will never. Anytime they tap you and you wake up, you make music because mm. you, you you have something. It's always inside. Yeah. So like yeah, a typical day is me wake up studio, then I beg my people, ah find me food. No, no I never show <laughs> food. <laughs> so sometimes most of I even for, <laughs> I even forget I even forget to eat. So yeah, that can happen. Though. Yeah, but like. Is going. Uh, this is what I decided, and I put my people through misery because so I cannot feel. You know? I love that. I, don't feel. I love it. I love it. So, who are like some of the people you listened to growing up that basically like shaped your sound? I come to your sound because you de- you define your sound as Afro Yeah, correct. But we'll come back to that. But who are some? Oh, you understand? In this <laughs> you understand so where I'm coming thing, from? Yeah, like I've listened to the EP, <laughs> and I'm excited to listen to it when it's done, when it's mixed, yeah, mastered, yeah. and all of that. Like. I feel like we're getting somewhere, okay, you know, and okay. like there is a sound 
But let's we'll come back to that, yeah. as I said. So yeah, who are some of you that you grew up listening to? So first, yeah, my dad was a DJ. Oh, okay. So he played a lot of people. Mm. Like a whole lot of people. So he played literally everybody from Bob Marley, 50 Cent, Lucky Dubelli. Like it's every morning to a new listening to a new mm. person. Mm. So I listen to like everybody. Mm. I picked something up from everybody. Yeah. Like I've been in the studio sometimes, like two like two weeks ago I was with yeah, a producer called Black Culture, he said, Bro, you're in your Bob Marley bag this night. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll, be like, I'll be like, Bro, like, that's a culture actually. Yeah, you, know, like, you, don't, like, you don't do it intentionally. You just, it's, it's just, just it's, it's a muscle memory thing. Mm. It's, it don't register when you know even know say this. So, because yeah. before we wake up, my pops don't they try the speakers, <laughs> don't they scratch. So, it. <laughs> you understand? So, like, when, maybe you are still sleeping, but you are still, you, are, you don't they hear him your unconsciousness they yes, register those sounds you register your subconscious so like it's not something you planned on like doing so because I know I didn't go to choir I didn't go to none of those I, I didn't think it was cool <laughs> it, it, it was stupid of me <laughs> but like I didn't think it was it's not, it's not everybody that was in, in the choir I'll be in church I'll be like ah, why are they wearing these ugly robes yeah that's crazy because I was in the choir <laughs> My, pardon me, but you know, fine. That's why I know fine. Let's be real. <laughs> it's wearing t-shirts and stuff. It's going. You know, like as young people come to church, you look good and be there and listen. Yeah. Some people in the section wear robes. <laughs> Kai, we get what? Just wear robes. Yeah, and I don't know what to with them. I show myself. <laughs> but the swag wasn't fine. But like, trust me, it wasn't a wise John. Like if. A, a young me, I would, I would say, go to that choir, go through that process. Are you serious? Yes, now, because now I have to do, I have to do like um, music classes. I have yeah, to like learn this thing. I, I would have learned easily, free. But you know the thing, I feel like even if you were in the choir, like as an artist, you have to constantly, cons- continually do like trainings. Uh, uh, no, like you have to, con- like you practice. You, you have, have to practice. practice. But <laughs> if if I was in the choir, it yeah, would give it me... would have there's there would have been a leverage for yes. sure. Like I just knew like could make music that's why i think it's kind of easy for me mm. but like if ah no worry it, it was important i wish i went i wish i well, went i went and i'm not using the skill for anything <laughs> I, but on this period. <laughs> <laughs> so i process you as i said yeah. is what you kind of used to describe your music why why would you say that like what's wh- yeah why yeah so like i'm i'm a very emotional person yeah. are you i'm at the high down i can't <laughs> Got to maintain the bad guy for tonight. <laughs> but like, I'm a very you emotional... want to wear shades. Yeah, see, I make the see the tiny eyes. So like, I'm a very emotional person. So when I was, I was like make music that tells a particular story, or depending on how I'm feeling. So when I was trying to like coin the sound, I, I yeah, I started researching about what we like a general name for emotions would be like. Mm-hmm. So I saw sensio. Sensio is like a Latin word for. Feel. Everything a human being feels, yeah, every feelings. single thing you can look it up after you see. I already checked, don't oh. worry, I do my research. <laughs> 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 so, like, I found like it, it narrows down everything yeah. in, one, in one, that's why it's Afro Central. Hmm. Yeah, that's I, I, I think, I think for sure, like, I hear what you're trying to like. I, I'm waiting for you to actually reach your peak, but I'm like, I hear what you mean by like the sensual, the yeah. feeling, yeah. like. Even on the Ijoya song as well, I think that was one of the songs that I was listening to yesterday. And like you can, there is a feeling like I I, I understand where you are trying to yes, help I was, people I, feel. I went on and I be like, carry your forehead, <laughs> <You're> my lady. <laughs> so like, so like it's something. But the, I feel I really believe that the there will be songs on the EP that will really the people connect really to sure on that. an emotional level. Mm, hear that. So, like I said, like you worked on a lot of stuff. You worked on the Ijoya project. You worked on like a, a bunch of stuff yeah. over like time since 2022. And you've basically been working on yourself. Like, what are some of the things that you discovered about Shine, the artist? Mm. You have to think. You come on, Oshkaya speaks to like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't, that's why I, I, I didn't. Mm. <laughs> I have to think about it. So. Have you discovered that when it yourself? Go, when it comes to like music making, I figured before, before let's say 2022, I used to overthink the process of the music making. Mm. I'll get one idea in my head. I'll be like, I don't think it's good enough. I'll keep shuffling the ideas. Mm. Until, pff, you don't even have the original one anymore. Mm. So over time, like it, I think it, it has to do with confidence thing. 
I started like trusting my process more. Okay. So, like I'll just block out the noise from the background. I think that one is going. Like, all those, all those yeah. be like ah. the demons. <laughs> yes. I started trusting my God. Literally. Yeah. So as you should. And when I have so when I have an idea, I record it down. Maybe you record more ideas to choose from the best. Okay. You know when you have you know when you have something that sounds good. Yeah. So I started working like that um, when I'm making music, and I have been like, I think I've been having more better results than um, if if you have an idea, you're not sure. Mm. You leave it looking for something else. You didn't put that one down. Yeah. You lose that one, and the new ones you will not you you know even sure about that one anymore. So so now I figured like I will always like put down my ideas when I'm writing or putting down melodies out, put down yeah, the ideas and build with it. Okay. Then yeah, I hear it. that. Have you, have you learned to create like out of your own comfort zone? Have you learned to make music out of it? You've said that you, you're always constantly recording. So yeah. now if they carry you to Ghana, so if they carry you to... I'll tell you, let me, let me brief you the Ghana trip. <laughs> when, I, when I went to the Ghana, it was my first time. I went to Ghana, immediately I landed, I went alone. Immediately I landed, I went straight there. Um, shout out to him, Small God. I literally went to Small God's side and yes. I did this song. <laughs> Yo, I went to Small God straight. <laughs> I said, the song. I was expecting- That's literally what he was playing in the studio when yeah. he entered. I said, I, I was expecting you. I said, yeah, okay. Remove your slippers for there. We know they wear slippers for there. <laughs> they had a studio footwear. I went in. I was recording. I was I was recording. Everyone everyone was in the studio. Gabzi. Because mm. it was immediately after December. Yeah, everyone yeah, was still yeah, in Ghana. Was in Ghana. I, Gabzi was there. He would come in and go, bro, you bad though. <laughs> <laughs> I say, ah, thank you. Now we started like it. So like, we, we're like recording, making, making music, making and music. while I was writing and doing my process in the booth, yeah, spinner worked in. Okay. Um, I was making the song for a small god. Spinner worked in. I'd be like, now that song we were supposed to do for Nigeria, they do for Ghana. <laughs> so I was like, ah. They're not so arguing cool. playfully. Oh, I'm keeping the song. No, I'm keeping this. Is my city. I'm keeping it. So like, yeah. As my belly is sweet to me. Ah, <laughs> now it's night day. Also, yeah. like, I was so happy. So, I now told... you want to hear. Yes, I was now like... I now told Spino... This was the same day I came to Ghana. So, I now told Spino, hey, let's make something else on this spot. By God's grace, I was luckily... Hey, by God's grace, we made something else on, in, spot. on the spot for Spino. So, one for... Small God, small God, for Spino. So everybody is happy. Everyone is happy. Like, <laughs> it suits me. And, it, no cause for and it's it. the same reaction they had for the first one. Every every single person came inside to the studio and be like, just this is, oh my God. <laughs> I'll be like, the excitement yeah. that it keeps, it keeps me going. You know, like, oh, you're, 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 you're actually doing something, something right. right. You get. Yeah. So now Small God has one. Spino has one. Spino, Spino, Spino is about to drop his own. So okay. I'm hopeful. I'm expecting it because I love that record i really love that record. is he dropping a project you know? yeah, i think he has an album coming oh, okay has an album coming. i mean he's doing coachella yeah, he's yeah doing coachella, think, he's ah, coachella. that's crazy man djs have come so far Yo, and he's just he's opening so crazy doors for djs he's like so imagine big. spino doing playing a full set at no, coachella no like that is crazy spino has been playing when i was a baby he also like <laughs> he's so big like <laughs> when when he when he when he sends me a message that no every time he sends me a message, i'll be excited i'll be like oh more Still spin all you get. Still spin all the relax. Yo, that's my big boy. It shows me more love. I yeah. can't lie. What's your f- least favorite thing about the industry? Because obviously you have spoken good. <laughs> what do I know? I don't even need to know. I'm a, he's going. He's going. Oh, to be honest, but every 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 single person like has always like shown me love. I, I don't know. Like I've not I've not had like bad energy any, with any. anyone. But I don't think I'd be in a situation and I'd be in the spot to have any bad. Like, with yeah, anybody. So it's been I mean like the journey yeah. just started, so Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't nobody. Everybody it's all love. I've not noticed anything weird. Weird about like, or maybe I mean I'm, I'm my goal is now waiting consign me and they put mouth. You know, so I like know. I know they really ship <laughs> mouth for anything. So but like it's all love. I see where young people are supporting ourselves yeah. more now too. So it's good. I mean that's all we can do because nobody will support us. So we yeah, support so ourselves. Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Tifa is killing it. <laughs> 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 so you've like I figured that like you're probably listening to a lot of new artists and mm. I like when people put me out to new artists. So who are like some of the people that you're listening to right now? Or Yo. people on the come up? 
I would say one person exactly, but it won't be fair because people see us together already, so they would think, oh, obviously that's what we do. Those tips. That's right. <laughs> what can I say? Tips. That's my that's my brother. So like, um, I mean, you can say tips. Yeah, tips, tips for sure. Tips is my guy. Tips, um, Emma, Rebel. Mm-hmm. Those are people like I've been. I've seen them work. I know what I know that they, they are good. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, yeah, they really like Emma as well. Yeah, so Dave, really Emma, Rebel, um, Cold, yeah. Yeah, I like she's cold. Cold. I like cold. Cold. Um, she's cold. There's this guy, what's his name? November, yeah. da- Tariq. So, I mean, every, this, why, is actually, that, what, why is that angry? Like, I don't know. Why is, that, why is that angry? Why is that spazzing? So, because they know, like, they work, they work like the the i won't say the ogs because they're still killing it man it's yeah. doing the every year so like the work the likes of um david bonner the yeah. LBs, all of them have done we have to actually up our game i mean like that's just the thing about yes. like that's the thing about music and that's just the thing it about can't be like, yeah it can't you be. just have to keep surpassing that yes it can't be you don't need to <laughs> but now it's time for you people to now it has, be to, it has to be impressive yeah, That's I, impressive. I feel like it will be. I feel like the new the artists that are really on the come up right now, they hold. So it's no, just no like, trust. It has to, it, you have words. to really be impressive. Because if you yeah. do if you do what the people past, have the done. people that have been doing it for years that what they're doing, why why would I listen to you? I can go back it's to my regular guy. You get so like it has to really be impressive for people to like because you are you are you are borrowing their you are borrowing their fans. Mm. For them really? to see you as something new, mm. you are you you are taking their fans from them like yeah. that, that, that. They still have their fans, but mm. they find it interesting now. Maybe they're checking you out mm. as well because you have something new that yeah. they're working well, on that they can keep yeah, keep exactly. up with. Exactly. Okay, that's very interesting. So let me ask this: Did you see the conversations about A and R's recently? Hmm. Were you on Twitter recently? Like two days ago, I'm what the weekend? Up on on Twitter. Okay, so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so there was a conversation about be, like A and R is not really being like too. What was even the conversation? Say so basically like A and R is not being too so important in like yeah. in the music. And I just wanted to ask about like what you think about that. Do you think A and R is are an important part of the music? I think I think I think that I think they are one of the major parts too, so, because. Mm. I feel like people don't know what an A&R does, Cha. An A&R helps you define your sound. Helps yeah. you, they hear things you don't hear. Yeah. Yeah, basically, apart from the, the Yes, apart from the A&R being the one to get you signed, do all those things. That, ah, that is, that is rude, so I don't yeah. know what people hear, but like, if you actually look at it from my own perspective, I think A&R, A&R is that the major guys, to be honest. Yeah. If, if, if you're not in good terms with the a couple of A R. I know my A and R. This is my A and R. Whether he agrees or not, <laughs> so like I know he with the work he does. I know how how he goes. Every I can reach him every time, mm. and I know like he has a lot of things to do. So that yeah. that the main that the main guy is. I can't. Like, yeah, I, don't, it's it's so, I don't know. My own perspective is that that the major that the ears. Yeah, they are basically that's what that's get, easily like anytime I try to explain it yeah, to anybody, I just say like A and Rs are the ears of the. So, they basically hear what you're doing here. Yes. They help you like shape it. Yes. That with with all honesty, yeah, it's true that they say opinions are not facts. Yeah. But I, I think they have been right a lot of times. <laughs> you get so that's what I <laughs> think. That. <laughs> hear that? Okay. So who will you crown the ultimate boy band? I saw this yesterday and I was like, I need to ask on the what podcast. Do you mean, boy band? The ultimate boy band between Plantation Boys and Style Plus because yeah. yesterday I've been seeing a lot of. A lot of shade. <laughs> I mean, really a lot of shade towards my goats. But who you crown the ultimate boy band? Like in terms of what's the word? In terms of defining what a boy band in Nigeria should be. Yeah. Mm. Did you did you miss Plantation Boys? I think I did. Well, I I miss them. Yes, but I know I know them. So South Plus had the they had the um whole sweet music going mm. and everything they had they used to do the arrangement the all this arrangement where the white people arrangement i don't know how to explain <laughs> it they, they had the, they had this arrangement going for them <laughs> all of them will be singing it they, they, they had this arrangement going for them but you know what, what people always tend to like do is that if two people if two let's say in this case it's two groups yeah if two groups are doing like if they're championing a sound or championing a movement yeah 
the ones the ones that are more popular or something are the ones people everybody will go to yeah like no, not crediting the other people's actual contributions well, yeah. they get it's like when they do all the comparisons with mm-hmm. that they do if that person know they you know go see and to compare with the other person you know? so like mm, I hear that. you get so like you can never count anybody Everybody out else. really because yeah. now hard work make them day there for you to compare yeah. the the I mean, I feel, I feel you, and I don't even feel what you're saying, honestly, because like I feel like that's actually how I'm thinking about. Like plantation boys, they did what they were supposed to do, but yeah. like, star plus man, <laughs> I don't know, like it's just no, no, it's no like it's trust. Yes, I feel like it's as easy as plantation boys. What do they say? They run so that the other people can fly, right? Yeah, so it was as simple no. as that. No, true, yeah, true. Like, like they were, they, everyone, they did what they were doing, but I, like, I feel like we're, we're, Star Plus introduced storytelling to music, yeah. to Nigerian music. Like they literally they did, they introduced. Did, they did. It. Their music, their music, their music is still fresh. I can't still, till to till yeah. tomorrow, I still listen to them, and I'm like, okay. Yeah, but I feel I feel like everyone plays a role. Yeah, definitely. Everyone plays a like role. if there was no Plantation Boys, they would never have been in Star Plus so because it, nobody would have thought, oh, yeah, we should make a boy band. Yeah, yeah. so like it's a situation of oh. It, you're seeing a vision, but someone points the light. Yeah, yeah it's, it's clearer. Yeah. So no, everyone plays their role. I think we're all playing roles. To be honest. For sure. Yeah. So what's your favorite thing about? Uh, what's your favorite thing to explore when you're making music? Do you like writing? Do you like performing? Do you like? What do you? What's your favorite? You know, thing? I think I, I I've I've grown to know that top lines are the most important. Mm. That keyword that people repeatedly talk yeah. about after the music is made. Top lines, top lines, melodies. Especially in Afrobeats, actually. Yes. Top lines, melodies. Those now we think they carry song with that. Charlie Poppies and all the world song. We know the top lines. I don't even know. This. I don't. I don't even need to say that is mm. this particular part. Everyone is waiting for. They will yeah. see. They have their different opinions about it, but that is the top line. Yeah, I feel you. So like that is the one that people will be waiting for. Yeah. yeah. Although I found very hard at that, but yeah, I yeah, yeah, I found too. But that's <laughs> the top line. I it's, found. See, it's it's not fresh. It's, it's, it's not, really it's not, not fresh, fresh, but that is the top line. That's mm. what I get. That's the example that I came to my head. No, but I, I I get what you're saying. Honestly, it, like it, there's, I think we really said something like that on the podcast. He was like, um. Afro- Afrobeat is always leans more towards like the repetitive stuff. People mm. like to just say what they hear. So like you have to keep like dance, yalinko, alinko dance is what sticks. Like yeah, literally, you get. What, see the the white people are doing it too. See, but how they are doing it? They might not repeat the words, but they they they, they repeat the rhythm. If you mm. le- if you can go and listen to all these all these big big songs, Justin Bieber song, uh, just let's not go there. See, if, <laughs> let's not fight. See you you hear it, you hear the, the sound you, you start hearing from the beginning. They will, they will loop it from the beginning, the beginning to, to the end. end. Do you know what that does? That's to actually you? so real. Do you, do you know what that does to you? It doesn't. It, you always stay in it's, touch from the first thing you hear. Mm. Like no matter what he says, that sound is still ringing I in your that. head. It it makes you go back to the song the next day. Yeah. You won't know. You think yeah. it's what he's saying. Yeah. It's nothing. It's just the repeat. Definitely hear they'll that. be doing. They'll Lord. be putting it under, under, under. You go to hear him next day. You go back to it. You listen to it again. That's how songs, major yeah. songs that have billions of streams. Those. That's what they do because I, I think when you when you music make music and always like look up music facts and stuff you see people saying these things pointing it out mm. and i think it's true when you listen to them, you see too. you see okay so let's come to your ep mm. so what's the, what was what well, just talk to me about the creative process let's not make it too long what's the creative process like what was your process like how long were you how long did you work on the project for what was the process like and i mean now it's coming out soon so um how long did you work on it for I worked, I worked on it for. I've been working on. I think I've been. I've been working on this EP since I started making music. Mm. I mean, I've. I, I didn't make all the songs uh, years ago. Now, nah, but I've been working on these songs subconsciously because everything I, I've been saying on the songs from the intro to the last song, it was now. I wish I had done reason before. You get like, but I had to be in the moment I am right now to be able to bring it yeah. to life. So yeah, I think the process was, I won't say easy. I was just I ready for it. wasn't easy. <laughs> I was, it wasn't easy. I was just ready. Yeah. Because I've been to like be getting way. ready for the this, moment. Yes. Yeah. I've been getting ready. So it was, it was good. I, I, I say I'm so grateful to God because sometimes yeah. I'll be like, ah, did I just make that? <laughs> so like. Who are some producers you worked with? Well, I worked with um, you work with kids, so obviously. Huh? 
Did you walk into? Did you walk into? So? Are they pursue them? Are they find <laughs> them? Are they find them? They always, they always like not around. Really. Yeah, so they're not always not around. <laughs> I'll be. Can, if they check their DMs, I'll be, yeah. I don't text them like five times, ten times. <laughs> are you are you back? No, I mean, are you back? <laughs> but like that's that's they are doing that. that they are the working so hard. So I've been in their Most. DMs every time. So I worked with Shemzi. Okay. I worked with Omar. I worked with mm. uh, Larry Big Fish. I worked with um, some Sony producers. Yeah, I mean, like we are. We I mean, so the funny thing is that most of them I I used to know them like long, long time, long time ago. ago. So, yeah. um, was I worked with this very, very dope producer? I think he's from Romania, but mm. he's so experimental that he I, can make. Hey, he's good. His, his <laughs> name is Tudo Tudo Monro. Mm. He's so good. So. Every, I think the f- the first song I made with him started the EP. Okay. I started like counting it from there. So yeah. Nice. Okay. So what's the rest of the year? Yeah, many one person. Ah, I can never. Was, <laughs> <laughs> his name is to, his name is to be. He's he's very he's very young, mm-hmm. but he's so good, Sorry. so good. Producers, they're coming for everything. Eh? They're not even looking. Yeah, and our jobs do. Artist job, they're literally coming with everything. <laughs> everything. So, I don't know how much, like, I don't think people understand the power that they give producers because you allow these people to create the framework of the song. Yeah. So why yeah. would I know what to do next? Yes, yes, <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> yes. So what I know. So what's what's next for you? What's the rest of the year looking like for you? you mentioned your EP, of course. Yes. So. Um. Pushing no, the EP, promoting. Yeah, was strategizing to drop like the first single. Okay, now we're active and we're up, Very and active. yeah, just. Yeah, just to the camera. No, not me. Shine. Yeah, just say tell them to subscribe because they must. <laughs> tell them to subscribe to my podcast. Okay. Make sure you su- subscribe. <laughs> please. This is Shine to the World and I'm here with No, please use the mic. Okay. <laughs> Hello everyone. This is Shine to the World and I'm here with Miss Oshikoya. <laughs> Miss Wonu Oshikoya. Uh, well, for Oshikoya speaks. Please subscribe. Yes, so you heard Shine said that you should so subscribe. So that you see me next time after the EP. <laughs> Abi? Abi, <I> subscribe. <laughs> if I make our business, it moves, so I will come again. <laughs> so, I love it, and I respect you. it. Yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me in another episode of Ashikaya Speaks. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>